Hi, this is Abhimanyu from BIMSurf. BIMSurf provides comprehensive BIM and CAD outsourcing services supporting clients through all stages from concept to construction. BIMSurf integrates with your design process to form a virtual studio. BIMSurf delivers entire suite of services from Revit modeling and detailing to clash detection, quantity takeoff and 5D modeling. In this tutorial, we learn how to make a mansard roof in Revit. A mansard roof is a roof with two slopes on each side, thus having a double pitch. The lower slope is much steeper than the upper one, giving more room space for the attic. The roof is made in two parts due to different slopes. So let's start with the bottom part of the roof. Switch to level 2 from the project browser since the base of the roof starts from this level. Now, here in the build panel, click on this roof drop down. From the list of different ways to make a roof, I'll select roof by footprint. Before I start, in the options bar I can see that the define slope checkbox is checked. Overhang size has not been defined yet and extend to wall core checkbox is unchecked. So let's change the overhang to 2 feet and keep the rest as default. Now from the draw panel let's select pick walls. Now select all the four walls one after the other and the walls join automatically to form a closed loop. All the sides have a slope sign next to them indicating that they are sloped. Now we need to change the slope angle since the lower slope needs to be steeper than the upper one. So let's keep it as 60 degrees. Click finish to make the roof. Once done, switch to east elevation from the project browser. Notice the steep roof just created. Select the roof and in the properties palette open the cutoff level drop down. Select level 3 and click apply since we want the second part of the roof to start from this level. As you can see the roof gets cut. Now let's go to level 3 and make the remaining part of the roof. Once again select roof by footprint from the roof drop down. This time let's have no overhang value. Then select pick lines and click on all four edges one after the other. Once the closed loop is formed select finish to make the roof. Now Cut a section in the middle right here and go to view to go to section view. Notice the two different parts are not joined together. So select the top part and then move it till the two slopes are smoothly joined. Finally switch to east elevation to see the roof more clearly. So this way my roof is made and you can experiment more with different settings. And this ends the tutorial on mansard roof.